So, hi everybody. It's a light group today. We have a lot of people doing doing different things uh, here, August eighteenth. So, this is the Chaos Common Working Group meeting. I will share my screen. Um, so basically, we have we have a couple different revised metrics that we have been working on. Vinod, it looks like you did add your. Yep. Was that you? Did you finish these? So clone was finished in the last meeting. I just need to create a pull request, which I haven't done yet, which I'll okay. left for the next meeting. And technical folk, I have just reviewed it. So which is good for, there's just minor changes, not much. So. Okay. Okay, so clones is done. And this was done in the last meeting. Okay. Um, Kevin, you had one types of contributions? I forget. Was that it? Yeah, so we've gone through. We're, we're ready to move forward on it. The uh, There's two things that I need to do. Okay. Uh, we need to... So we had, we had discussed in the last meeting what we wanted to do with uh, the contributors at the bottom of the page. Let me pull it up here. Uh, Oh, but like these folks? Yes. Uh, so uh, this one was one that basically all of these contributors that are here are basically here due to the revision, right? Okay. So there weren't there weren't contributors on this prior. So we need to go back and kind of look at the history of this metric mm -hmm. and figure out if there are more people that we need to add to it. Okay. And then we also want to send out a message on Slack that says something to the effect of, hey, uh, you're either on this uh, or you uh, does do you want to be on this, right? So okay. if you're listed, if you're listed as a contributor on this, do you want us to take you off? And if you're not listed as a contributor on this, do you want to be added okay. to it? Uh, and then after that's done, I think we're ready for the PR, uh, but types uh uh i think we edited it fairly substantially but not enough to uh uh not enough to require a uh a review okay okay and then uh for uh uh the one that dawn was working on that's this one organizational diversity i think it's the same exact thing so she needs to uh there are a few little things to do yeah yeah there was a yeah i think she had reached out to sean for that deal okay and then uh additionally she needed to do the the contributor thing that i was talking about and the pull request okay uh, but uh in general that organizational diversity metric we've all agreed it's ready to go it's just uh uh, just that last bit of work and then do the PR. Okay. Okay. Um, I had done one. I don't know if you had a chance to take a look at occasional contributors. This is one uh, that I had done. In the last meeting, I think we, uh, we skipped it because you weren't here. Okay. Um, honestly, it was just mostly grammar again. To be honest with you, so there was nothing changed, um, at least in terms of. Okay, so for the objectives, uh, is there an explicit DEI objective? Um, there wasn't one that was specified, so and I can, did not add one. We can add we one. can we yeah. add one? Of course. So. So this is occasional contributors. So for me, perhaps um, thinking about occasional contributors from a DEI perspective would be, you know, perhaps our community is not welcoming enough that we get kind of um, mm -hmm. flyby contributors. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah, I can think of the like the the ratio of occasional contributors to uh to like what's what's the opposite of it what's the what's that term the stained or what's that 
like sustained contributor? Yeah, so the sustained contributors. There's the the ratio of sustained contributors to occasional contributors and the kind of the uh, the demographic makeup of those two groups may indicate that there is a kind of a an imbalance of uh, uh, like onboarding. I mean, there is yeah. this onboarding. Yeah, there like if this. Uh, I mean, it's not per, it's not exactly what you're saying, but it's right. For like, if the if the sustained contributors were not very diverse, but the but the uh, the occasional contributors are more diverse, that would be that could be telling. Uh, if if there is a lack of diversity in both sustained and occasional, that's also very telling. Uh, diversity of sustained contributors versus occasional contributors. Just, I'm trying to figure out how to say it yeah. to, like, in this form. You know what I mean? It can help understand if there is an imbalance in diversity between sustained contributors uh, and occasional contributors. Like that. Yeah, if there's an imbalance in diversity. And then and then I think the, the second bullet point is uh, how how yeah. welcoming a community is to diverse contributions, right? Or diverse contributors. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, honestly, I didn't. I double checked the references. I double checked the August, you know, of these. Uh -huh. So I think we're good here as well. I, I didn't do this based on the conversation that you had prior. Mm -hmm. So this is a new one, though. So this one already had the contributors listed. Okay. The difference between the uh, the one Don had gotcha. and the one I had, those were created before we had contributor as a headline. So we weren't gotcha. collecting that information when, I it gotcha. was, when it was created. I gotcha. Okay. Uh, I, I see what you're saying. On that note, uh, we had this discussion that we want to keep these uh, Google Docs in the Excel sheet uh, for the metrics so that we get to know the history. And for a future revision, we don't need to recreate these Google Docs and we can reuse them again for revision. Okay. No, that sounds fine to me. Uh, so that would mean that on the on this metric spreadsheet, we need to keep we need to keep the link to the Google document. Yeah, you know, I'd probably want to make a new column. To yeah. Be yes. With you. Yes. So. Yeah. Because right now it's it's a it's a link to a Google document, and then we switch it to the link to the Markdown. Yeah. Uh, so and maybe we need Mark's column is not. It's fine for yeah. like this temporary thing, but yeah. <laughs> so maybe there's a column for the Markdown, and maybe there's a column for the Google, Google Doc. Doc. Yeah. Okay. Right. And in theory, they should actually be the same because we always pull from the Google. They Doc. should. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. And so this would be August 2022. Okay. And then organizational diversity also August 2022. Kevin, that's yours. Vinod, which one was done? Clones. And you did look at that last week, is that right? Yes, we looked okay. at, uh, as a group, we looked at this uh, last week. Okay, I see, right, okay. Okay, um, great. And then if you open the technical port that we can quickly look at. There's not much changes. Few things have just changed in that. Looks like I have to. Is it not? Oh, it's double. It's doubled. Um, there. Oh, okay. I was like. Is there any? No, it's because I, it's because I, it, it, anyway, I, 
Okay, technical forks. Okay. Yep. So there's not much change in it. I have, uh, there was a link which was not proper, like the link was there, but it was not proper. So I have changed the link and then okay. I've added the review. These are the two things that was revised on this. Oh. Because this is pretty decent. Like last, it yeah. was in the last release. Oh, okay. So we looked at it within the last, whatever, six, eight yeah. months. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is what this is what we're doing. So if we assign it to a review and you're like, looks pretty good, that's yep. <laughs> uh, and then it's the the question that I always have is for the objective once again, is there a is there a DEI objective that we can add? So this was similar to the clones and we had the same response. Uh, we can't we don't think of any such DI. The same question you raised during the clones review and uh, we were thinking like, uh, we don't think any uh, related objective in this. So I'm going to ask it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so agreed. Every, every time. <laughs> yeah, agreed. No, that that is always now at the back of my head when I review. Okay, is there any DI aspect that I should be aware of while reviewing it? Okay. So right. does this one doesn't have the same problem? No. Oh, this one's so, new as well. Okay, yeah. so really at this point, it's this is also like done, and I can create a PR for it. Okay. Okay, so it sounds like at least at the moment, I know that there's some small things that need to be done. Yep. But we have five. Is that right? Five metrics yep. that are kind of revised at this point. Yep. What was the other one? Occasional contributors, uh, organizational diversity, types of uh, technical. Oh, technical. Okay, great. Um, do at some point I've been thinking like we might want to just say, hey, this is good for this round for reviews because we need to get these PRs in and then we need to open the issue. It says here's the in the translations repo. It's like here's yep. the the link to the five new five new markdown files. Yep. You know, so at some point we need to do that. Um, what do y'all think? Should we try to make another pass at reviewing some of these? DEI is going to have all of them reviewed, so they're going to be done. Do we want to make another pass here and then reconvene in two weeks? Mm -hmm. yeah. In regards to the translations, mm -hmm. there is there is the possibility that we can retire that that working group. Well, that'd be great. So we've talked. We well, I guess we haven't really talked about it, but there are some there are some tools out there that are actually pretty decent for. Uh, Kind of automatically uh, translating the website, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and if we if we're automatically translating the website, there's it's pretty easy for us to just automatically translate those uh, the web pages in real, like basically the, in real time, right? Sounded like the biggest problem was the translation of the word chaos, like <laughs> <laughs> you know. So was, with uh. If we if we want to pay for a for a plugin a translation yeah. plugin a high end one a high end one then we can we can actually go in and we can uh, uh, we can adjust some of those words. How much That's, is it? <laughs> it's WordPress, so it's like a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh. Yes, I would. <laughs> I mean, it's, the answer is yes. I mean, yeah. any any if we can automate. Yeah. A process that um, still works for the social yeah. effort that we're trying to do with translations. Then, I mean, not. even if even if we go for a really expensive one, we're okay. we're hitting three hundred dollars tops a All year. Right, well, let's let's right? go it's for just the a, most expensive. It's insane how it's insane how inexpensive that stuff is on work. Okay, so why don't we? I mean, that's an easy yes for me. And honestly, Kevin, like, why don't you? We can work, but um, it's just going to be the same thing. Like we can just order it off the 
grand to get that done. You know what I mean? The same way you would buy software. So why don't you and I just get together and let's just alternately we could have Sean pay for it. So he has he has some buckets of money and he's already paying for oh is it easier uh, that way as it's opposed probably to... it's probably easier for him to do it. Oh let's do that then. Uh, because he pays he pays for our, most of that stuff on the website anyway. Okay. So if he has an easier way to get it done and then like get reimbursed from his university, yeah. then let's just do that. And let's just go for the difference between a hundred dollars and three hundred dollars is not much. Yeah. So let's just go for the what the you best, the best one we can find. Yeah. The best one that we can find. Yes. Okay. So and, on, and then the reality is too is if it doesn't work, like mm -hmm. if we give it a shot and then the folks in China are like, yeah, it's still no good. Like right. It's only we're not out. <laughs> you know. So I, I will say this one, the the one that we used, the one that we're that we've been test driving right now. Mm -hmm. is completely free mm -hmm. and and even that one they said it's actually pretty good so uh so if we if we improve the functionality of it uh it's it's looking like the technology is there now where uh, okay where it's pretty good all right well let's let's give that a go yeah. then and then from a from a release standpoint uh I don't know that we've we haven't really talked a ton about this either uh but i, I think there's some uh, uh some desire on your part part to uh to kind of eliminate the uh that mars kind of pdf release process with the knowledge base i don't think we need it with the knowledge base so the the functionality on the knowledge base the, the one thing i would like on the knowledge base is that we can actually do uh I want to have a the ability to do a like a PDF download of individual metrics pages mm -hmm. from the website. So if they yeah, if they land on a, a metric page, if we have yeah. like a PDF download button for that metric, if they just want yeah. to grab it, yep. Uh, I do want to be able to do that. Yeah, no, I think that's that's good, and I do think as long as too in like in the knowledge base, we could like do an empty search and get all metrics. I don't know if that's, you know how like we currently have the slash metrics page. Uh huh. I mean, would we still have that? So we we can create some different uh, we can create some different views. Okay. Uh, so I think the, uh, yeah. If if you want to, if we want to do a, uh, sure. we want to create a page that's all metrics. Yeah. I think the that would be a, that's a, a good idea. And uh, I'm not sure what that would look like yet. I kind of wanted to. I wanted to wait and see how the knowledge base came together first. Okay. There's, there's all sorts of. Uh, there's some dynamic. There's some dynamic components to the knowledge base where uh, it'll it'll actually populate some of the pages on its own mm -hmm. based on the uh, the context areas and the keyword tags. Okay. Uh, so I kind of want to see what that would look like a little bit to see if we if we want to include that 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 dynamic uh, that dynamic ability. We don't have to, okay. Um, but if we want to include that dynamic ability, and if we do do you do that uh, use that 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 dynamic ability to to organize metrics and populate these pages, if that ability would actually eliminate the need for a full metrics page. Uh, actually building one because maybe it can be dynamically created well, by yes, a, a simple be, keyword yes. search right that's totally yeah that's why uh, i say like an empty keyword search shows or a thing, or so. a link right we, we can yes. even create a link that would dynamically create that page yes, uh, whatever the search terms are necessary yeah. to create that page i yeah, agree so, so i'm kind of waiting to the end to see what that looks like okay uh, but otherwise the uh uh the release process, I, I think we still stick with the uh, the two times a year release process. I agree, but we just um, keep it on the web at this point. The PDF yep. is gone, at least yep. in my mind. Yeah, I think that, yeah, the PDF is gone. And I think the, the, uh, the overhead to create the PDF mm -hmm. is just too high compared. Even with, even with Mars, it's too high. Uh, I agree. Just with particularly so, like how many times it's probably downloaded which is it's oh. probably not all that useful uh as a whole document 
Uh, yeah, I mean, individual metrics are probably more useful than the whole document. Uh, I do like the uh, I like the idea that it creates kind of that static snapshot of all the metrics because I I kind of I look at that metrics document as kind of a standard, mm -hmm. right? So we're releasing every metrics release. We're basically we're kind of releasing a standard. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but I don't uh, uh, I don't think it's helpful in its current form. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe like if we can create that that page that just lists all the metrics. You know what yeah. I mean? Then yeah, I think that's the... that, that would be what we print out as the yeah as that release moment. Yeah, and maybe maybe we uh maybe we supercharge the uh, release notes page, right? Where the where the release notes page includes all of the all of the changes to the metrics and also a list of the metrics that have been included with links to the documents yeah. from there. And maybe so maybe that page replaces the Maybe that's the page that you were talking about earlier that uh, replaces that has the, all of the, the metrics listed. Yeah, it replaces yeah, the slash right? metrics page. Yes. Yeah. So maybe maybe that's the release notes page. Yeah, right? exactly. That's or what I was the, thinking. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't have all of the detail, but it at least shows you the metrics that were in that release. And and all of the metrics that exist in the completely, right? So that yeah, uh, that's what it's I not just the changes, but yeah, all of the metrics that uh, that exist completely with a yeah. link to those metrics. Yep, exactly. And then honestly, like if somebody's like, well, what what did this metric look like two years ago? They can go back into GitHub. <laughs> and, yep, they, if they really if they really want to see what it's like two years ago, we yeah. can use that history. Fair. So okay. I just okay, well, um, cool. So then back to the question that spurred this, um, do we want to like call it good on review or should we do, we all want to take like one more, you know, for two weeks. It doesn't take very long if you haven't noticed to just read a metric and. So how many are left for review? Well, you can, anything that doesn't have August 22 on it and is your, like is left. Five, five. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I, I get. I guess I would say the the sooner we're done with the review, the sooner we can. I agree. Jump back yeah. into the uh, the business of defining metrics and. Uh, okay. So let's. Uh, because we're kind of we're still on hold for defining metrics, right? Or, or yeah, I mean, if, if, it, if it's essential, we can certainly do it. But yeah. I think we do want to get through the review. So let's let's go ahead and grab maybe two more yeah. each. Would you be okay with that or one? That's fine. Okay, so I'll... Uh, I would like to hold off on grabbing one this week, but I'll grab one in the next meeting if that's okay. okay. No, that's uh, fine. I'm, I've not... got a few things I'm working through. You're doing website stuff too. Yeah. So, Vinod, I'm just going to put you down for these first two, okay? Sure. Sure, that's fine. Vinod and Vinod. Okay. Okay, yep. You have contributors and bot activity. And, activity. Okay. and I'll take and these two. Yep. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Um, all right. And then the last thing, honestly, on the agenda today, because we got through new work on revised metrics, is the tagging stuff, Kevin. So I responded, I responded to your yeah. comments. So I, there were a couple times, I don't know if you noticed in some of the tagging I had done, I mean, I just did this because <laughs> we, we were allowed to. Yeah, it, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that's completely fine. I think ideally we, we do one, but if but, it's two, I put two, yeah. I think there's no problem in that. Uh, and I think in, in all of those that you had mentioned, uh, I think the answer was yes, it could be it could be both. Okay. Uh, for for that one, I was really it was really iffy. I I gave that a little bit of thought. This is the bot one, right? So are um, bots actually contributors? I, no, this is probably not. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I, whoops! I put it on the wrong one. Yes, it is yeah. the bot one. Uh, okay. Yeah, because the way the project is written, it's kind of like the channel. It's like the technology. 
Yep. I the agree. way that I would uh, and I would the I would maybe even move the change the order because project is probably better. Well, it shouldn't uh, matter. Should it? Uh, so one of them is so when we go in and do the topic areas, I'm not uh, uh, I'm not completely sure how many topic areas it's going to allow us to do. I mean, I need to take a peek at that. But, okay. Uh, so, however, that that second co uh, that second context tag can be can be pulled down to a keyword tag, so the tagging would okay. still exist. It's just a, uh, but I'm not sure if we can have uh to 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 context slash topic areas I, okay. I think we can i just need okay. to conf i need to confirm that with yash okay uh okay. and then uh yeah there was another one oh, it wasn't was common it was in the okay it was in one of the other ones yeah here no uh, oh it was evolution risk is not done yeah you can see like I did it a few times anyway. Yep, yep that's that's perfectly fine. Yeah, perfect. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. Uh... yeah, and basically the, I think it's stronger as a project, but I agree that it could also be contribution. Okay. So, and the, uh, I think the, uh, my feeling on that is that uh, 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 like taking part in a discussion is a contribution or making comments in an issue is a contribution for yeah, sure. That was it. Uh, but, but primarily the issues are also kind of the way that things are coordinated and discussed oh, and talked about. And, and that's kind of, that's an issue that's kind of project, which is the coordination, collaboration, and governance. Yeah, actually, for anyone that you put down, I didn't have a problem. Yeah. Like, I don't think I changed any of them yeah. or proposed any changes. It was just trying to fit it. So then do you think change requests should also be project contribution? Because if you're uh... going to make that, that was my question. Like, if you're going to claim that an issue is part of how, like. So I would say. I, I suppose it could. It's kind of a. It's a little bit that idea that you know ev everything could actually be a contribution, right? Well, for sure. Yeah. Uh, at a at a high level, like everything we're talking about is a contribution. Yeah, because you're engaging uh, with the project. Uh, a. Uh, I think contribution is probably the stronger of the two, though. That's fine. My, it was just keeping it consistent with new issues. So does it fall within the definition we have defined for contribution or project? Oh, that's a good question. Actually, let's, let's pull that up real quick. I think I put it. I think, did I put it somewhere? That list, I don't know where it is. Here, let me, I got it. Oh, actually, look at this. I did it right here. Uh, oh, okay. I did, I did it. I smartly put it as a link <laughs> on the header. Okay, so a contribution is an addition or improvement in any form made to an event, project, or ecosystem. Yep, then it falls within this definition. Okay, so a project is the collaborative places where a community does work, aka platforms and technologies. So, so from a from a collaborative places where a community does work, we can get from GitHub down to the the change requests process within within a github repo right so within the change request there are you have the ability to comment you have the ability to put in commits you have the ability to do reviews so that really it is a place right yeah. it's a place within a place uh, so it, it it definitely fits 
and then a contribution definitely fits as well. Yep. Uh, so uh, that does bring up the uh, the question of then anytime we do a change request, so any of the change request metrics, are they always contribution comma project? Like any of these, well, except yeah. the decline. Mm -hmm. Duration doesn't seem like it would be a contribution. That one's, yeah, that one seems more like a pro project, right? So, yeah, it's just something associated with the PR. Mm -hmm. actually... So the accepts and decline, that's very specifically about the, the contribution. The contribution itself, yeah. and secondly, maybe it, it it talks about the process. Yeah, uh, duration is more of a process. Yeah, duration is more about the process. So, do we have is process one of them? Well, I think project would be life cycle. Life cycle should. Be oh yeah, life cycle. Hey, Elizabeth. Yeah, so yeah. maybe that's project, or maybe it's life cycle comma project. Yeah. Look at common going to work in other people's. <laughs> uh, and then this would be the same, probably. Acceptance ratio. So it's not going to be life cycle, but acceptance ratio is probably project it's, slash contribution. Yeah, it feels like a contribution. What is the ratio of contribution? Which is like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it speaks to the anything that speaks to the process that occurs in the platform. I think is I, I think we can add process to the definition of the project, right? So the the collaborative places where a community does work. So the the does work part is kind of about the process, right? Who does? Yeah, does. Or how about this? Like um, performs performs work. Yeah. Uh, AKA uh, process and plat process. process platforms and technology. Yeah, process comma platform and technology. And then maybe the uh, the comment that I had made was about was that collaboration. You're an ecosystem, do you know that? Oops. Yeah. Uh, so collaboration. In platforms, something like that. Well, that's a little different. So this is the yeah. collaborative places. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we, yeah, we start to get into governance actually. Yeah. A little bit. But there were so, some clear governance ones, of course. In, yeah. So in governance, we have process, and we in project, we have process too. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps we should think about that for a moment because collaborative places. So acceptance ratio. So I, I just I don't see acceptance ratio as a governance issue, though. Agreed. Uh, is there just, some I, distinction between uh, this? To be honest with you, what's that? I just made a change. I just the collaborative places where the a community performs work. Right. And this is EG, the EG is associated with the collaborative places. So I mean, if anything, we would do this. So we associate the EG with uh -huh. yep. the thing that we're EGing. 
Right. And it does work is, is that activity, e.g. activity? If we were to add, if we think of it as activity, does that then fit with kind of the, uh, uh, the ratio of accepted, right? So if the, the ratio of accepted change requests, right? Is that, where would the, the rate, the accepted, the ratio of accepted change requests, where would the, the accepted change requests, the ratio in the accepted part, where would that come in, right? Because the, the change request is the, is the place and the, the ratio of accepted is the, is the work bit, right? So, uh, one thing that is coming to my mind is, are we looking at the nouns and uh, verbs? Like all of these, most of these are nouns, like uh, mm -hmm. something, but we have some actions to that are in the matrix. So can we think of like having tags in terms of actions? So process mm -hmm. is an action rather than a, a entity or noun. Maybe the combination of the context areas is what gives us that. Uh, yeah. Like it has to be project and contribution together to fully describe it, right? So we can, we can, uh, the context area project partially describes this metric. And then the other context area describes kind of the other part. So maybe it does have to be two there. And that's how we, because we don't want these context areas, these context areas can't describe everything, right? Because if they, the the more detailed these context areas are, the more uh, I or I shouldn't say more detailed, but the if we try to make project be about the process as well, then we'd get confusion about I well, agree. then what's governance. So when I was I agree. As soon as we start overloading a context tag with a yeah. bunch of different things, then which is the which is the whole reason that we're doing these contact tags in the first place is so that we can we can filter them down to these very simple things, what, right? What would you think about changing the name of project to place? Uh, so so from common place was a thing. Uh, the the issue that I would have with that is that event and ecosystem are a place as well and those three event yeah. project and ecosystem were created as what if we kind of subcategories of place platform project just it doesn't doesn't really platform fit. yeah, yeah. Platform, platform, is fine. Platform. platform is fine yeah i prefer that helps me a lot because then we don't we have need we have community yeah. things, we have contribution yep. things, we have like the technologies. Yep. Yeah. So we don't need uh, EG platforms within that because it's already a. Uh, no, I think we still do. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could just say, yeah, that's fine. I like that a lot better. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yep, that's cleaner. Uh, and then I'll just, I can make the change. I'll just go back in here where I see project. I'll just replace okay. with platform. Uh, and maybe we do, uh, like having gone through it, I, I, I think you're, I think you're right that we need to, we should go through and, and make sure that the ones that need two, I'll have two. Okay. Cause that, after this conversation, I'm thinking that, uh, some of these are some of them that I just tagged as one. I do need, we do need to go back and, and two, right? Okay, well, let's just do it again, Kevin. I mean, it's not, it doesn't take very long, at least not mm -hmm. for me. I don't know how long it took for you, but. No, it was pretty fast, actually. Yeah. Uh, but okay, I, it actually kind of bothers me how fast some of this is, to, like this, this initial, this list that right here, I threw together pretty haphazardly. Uh. <laughs> It ended up it's kind of like uh, it bother it bothers me how fast and haphazard some of this seems like to me. But uh, this is, I mean, also give yourself credit. I mean, you've been doing the open source work for a long time, so you kind of know the terms. Yeah, um, we've gone through feedback cycles, so. And the, yeah, well, and and also too, I mean, to your point, I thought that common and DEI 
the way that their focus area, the way that they've constructed metrics within the focus area is pretty clean with respect to the context tags. Like yeah. when you have a whole focus area called event mm -hmm. diversity, well, guess what? <laughs> you know, I mean, and we may want to double some of those up too, to your point, but event is clearly a context tag yeah. for each one of those. So, okay. So action item. Um, return to the, to the spreadsheet. And okay. And just so you know, Kevin, every one of these columns has a link to the document. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So save yourself tracking it down. That's helpful. Okay. And that sounds good. And then what do you think the process? So once we basically, whatever, let's say like in two weeks, we're like, all right, all good. We have all the context tags assigned. We're pretty happy with how they are. Ultimately, obviously, we need to get them here, you yep. know, in, within each one of the metrics. So um, would that just be another action item? It's just like, you know, I'll do all the ones for common. We, we can like get... Uh, interns like newcomers are always looking for ways, so we that's can a pretty easy one. Just copy, yeah, these they data. just add, add a tag and just one liner and create okay. a PR for them. Uh, I would like to when we do these PRs, I would like to add the uh keywords in at the same time. Well, that was what I was wondering. Do you want to do the yeah. PRs like this PR first, then the context and keywords, or do you just want to wait? until because mm -hmm. i think elizabeth is issuing all the dei prs without the context and keywords you know what i mean they were edited oh for the for the review yeah 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 mm -hmm. yeah i was thinking i was thinking that this would be separate from the review okay uh and i was thinking that we could do the prs and add the context tags and the keywords in at the same time okay and that way we could uh this that would be the that would be the point where we can get either we, where we can get feedback from the working group, right? So this, okay. these are the context areas that we've come up with. These are the keywords that we came up with. Pull request to the working group. This is your opportunity to okay, so uh, first, first to look at it. Review. And uh, okay. but I but I'd like them to look at them together, basically, no, rather fine. than separate. I, yeah. I don't know if that does that make sense. It does. So we can. <laughs> Go ahead, Renan. Uh, I was proposing we can hold the uh, creating PR for uh, these tags. If these are being finalized in a month time, we still have a time to create PR for the review. So it'll reduce the workload because otherwise we have to create another PR for each metric separately to add the tags and contacts. You have to add both of these. Yes. So maybe a month time, if this thing gets finalized, then we can incorporate and create a PR all for all of these. That's fine. Months. Combining them to... is less work for sure. Yes. Why okay, why don't we do that? I'll see if Elizabeth has issued the PRs for DEI. And if she hasn't, I'll say, hey, just hold on a second. Oh, no, yeah. no. I think no, the reviews, I think she can go ahead and do those. Well, I thought that Bernard was saying something. I thought he was saying uh, yeah, that's okay. what I was saying. Like, if you are creating a PR for review, and if the tags and uh, contacts are ready, we can incorporate within a PR and it'll reduce the work. If Otherwise, they're ready. Yes, if they're okay, ready. Okay. So, so if, if within a month time if they are ready, then we can create all the PRs with the, after a month because we still have a time for the release cycle. Okay, okay. So the so the issue the issue I have with that is I don't want the I don't want this work to be tied to reviews because we're not going to be we're not we're probably not going to be able to uh, go through and finish all of the metrics reviews for all of the working groups with it. So uh, so at that point, we would have to decide. Uh, plus, we have we have some reviews that have already been done. I think it's just it's just a separate thing. Just keep the keep the context areas and the keywords separate from the reviews 
uh because otherwise we're there's inconsistency because some reviews have already been done we're waiting on others yep. uh it forces the it would force us to wait on the work that uh that elizabeth has done in dei i would say just do the reviews reviews are separate from this uh with separate pull requests so maybe i just put like maybe we just have a an approximate target like we just say on december 1st this spreadsheet should be pretty good you know what i mean we should hopefully have these filled out the context tags and the keyword tags i so would move it to november 1st well okay uh, uh, i mean i just picked a date but okay uh or even but, possibly even earlier but i think uh I think Google Summer of Code runs until uh, October or November. But ish. That's fine. So the, the to your point then that we just kind of do a batch update of all metrics. Like I'm saying, like on November first or whatever the date is, we're like, okay, we're just going to issue seventy PRs that day. Yes, <laughs> again, yeah. seventy metrics. Yeah, yep. and, and then we and then we go to the working groups and we say we in, issued all in that working requests. group meeting. It's like we've issued all these pull requests. Please go through them and look just just look at the context areas and the keywords. That's what we want you to comment on or. Accept. The other option I, instead of having them look at it in a PR, yeah. we have them look at it in this in this. Yes, I think this works best. Like we look at it finalize it once it's good then we can one create a bulk prs and get it accepted and merged that's that's fine too uh all right if that's if that's the process then then we don't really even need to like we can actually just push those prs through we don't need to yeah if we have approval like in the meeting yep. like all yep. these look good then we just issue the pr and, and i'll issue have, that and you just like that right yes exactly yep. yep okay that's fine that's fine too Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, I like this. All right, guys. Boy, look at that. Only three of us, and we went over four minutes. <sighs> All righty. Well, thank you for your time. Yep. Thank you. That sounds really good. And I'm going to stop the recording.